Well, here you go, everyone. Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week yet again this week, ladies and gentlemen. As I always say, hope you're able to have a little bit of a hunt here and there. Maybe you found some cool cars at the shops. Maybe you went to an awesome flea market or swap meet. Or picked up some goodies off eBay. Hope you found some awesome cars this week, everyone. Hope you had an awesome week as well. Well, don't have too much yet again to show this week, everyone, as the Rainbow Laura keep hounds for food to its mother in the background but hopefully it won't disturb the video too much don't have too much this week everyone do have some ebay stuff some other assorted finds another custom to share with you and my sole flea market find for the day the little chevy i think it's either a 1500 pickup or a c10 something like that the old camping world truck series truck it looks like probably do something with that at a later stage really want to make this one blown as well see if i can do that find some good set of wheels and that maybe even lower it if i could but yeah the only thing i found at the flea market today went to the two flea markets but heck at least i found something that that's what all all that matters really when you're out hunting for stuff even if you find one two or a hundred and two things it's it's always worth going to have a little bit of a look and seeing what is still out there and got some blue cards and 90s cards here as well and a little lotus here as well very james bond very james bond indeed that one's pretty cool i do like that i'm pretty sure it was the james bond car the old lotus or sort of similar anyway pretty cool looking car made in hong kong the royal flash had to grab another one of those i don't mind that car one little bit i do like the old lotuses and some 90s stuff as well, Power Plower, no it's not the Byway Man casting, it is actually the tractor. Distinctively remember this one as a kid and always wondered why the front bucket never tilt, tilted up or worked or anything like that. But anyway, it looks like the bucket's cast onto the actual tractor and the plastic part's just reaching down to it. That one's a really cool little tractor. Even Dad was pretty rapt to see that one as well because he remembers that from when I was a kid and he goes, how cool is that for a little kid? Certainly is. I certainly enjoyed playing with it. Really cool. And my favourite colour as well. 59 Caddy. I love these old 59 Caddies. Such beautiful, beautiful cars with the wings on the back there like the 57 Chev but more pretty. But who, who doesn't love a 57 Chev? Beautiful, beautiful car. Love those wings. Love the front grille. Look at that. More chrome you can throw a stick at than you can throw a stick at. Really, really cool indeed. And another 59 Caddy. Beautiful car on the blue card. Number 266. Funnily enough, those two are the same numbers, which I think was quite unusual indeed, considering it's different paint scheme. But anyway, I'll soon figure out why it's probably like that really cool indeed love my old caddies as i've just jabbed on about and the old shadow jet really do like that one i've probably got this one already but it was still worth picking up another one for the price really nice indeed love those old blue cards as i always say it always brings back great memories of the hot wheels i had when i was a kid really love them indeed now we got some ebay finds finally got some stuff from ebay this week finally arrived in the post i'm pretty sure it was this week anyway it arrived at the start of the week that's probably why i'm not good with remembering it got the old jeep scrambler here really like the old jeep scramblers with the white hubs with a bit of a bent in package but still other than that it's a really nice shape Really nice old Jeeps. Don't mind the old Jeeps one little bit. Got the old pack card art on the back there and the disintegrated rubber band in there. Which is quite quite funny to see after all these years. It's certainly not flexible anymore. And the old Dream Van. I really do like this casting. It certainly is one of my favourites. Don't have too many in the collection. I think I've got a loose one and also the one what comes with the Stampers 3-pack of the Real Riders. I think that's my only ones in the in the collection, unfortunately. Really awesome casting, though. Really, it's it's so 80s, isn't it? Very cool indeed. I, I'd like to know what it's based off. 
unpunched card and funnily enough the same card art on the back as this one love these old real rider cards i love the blue color i love the colors in it and everything always definitely worth picking these up really love that card art really really nice indeed and my custom for the week ladies and gentlemen i've been looking at this chevy nomad wagon for a little while now i've had it in one of my boxes yes there is cars in there what i would like to do for customs I've had that sitting in there for quite some months now and I thought how about we try and lower her and that certainly turned out really well unfortunately the back part doesn't want to stay on for at this present time got to get onto the props department about that I reckon she looks pretty tough and I put gold wheels on her I thought oh for a little bit of an idea of what the wheels would look like these type of wheels anyway on her. I thought I'll put them on and what do you know they actually suit her in my opinion. Get a good little low look at her there. Do like the flame job on her as well. I do want to put an engine out of the bonnet as well but probably get around to that sometime during the week maybe. Let me know what you think about my custom everyone and I do appreciate you all giving me good feedback in the last video about my other two customs thank you to you all out there I'm really glad to hear that you really did like um, the other two I did the Camaro and the I forgot what the other one was the 55 Chevy um, thank you very much everyone really do appreciate it well that brings us to the end of this video for this week ladies and gentlemen Daytona finished up last week Legato won which is really would have liked to have seen Junior win but he can't and Harvick came in second and Junior came in third. I was pretty happy about that. And Atlanta's this week. Who knows what might happen. Good luck to you, all your drivers out there. Whoever you go for. Really looking forward to seeing who, who wins the race this week. Well, that's it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Really hope you did enjoy. Thank you to everyone who tunes in each and every week. Leaves kind comments. Likes the video. Gives me feedback about my customs, whatever. Really do appreciate it, everyone. I know I say it a lot, but I really do mean it. Thank you to you all out there. That's it for this week, everyone. As I said, really hope you did enjoy. And remember, as always, everyone, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. Have an awesome week.